Talks bringing together all the foreign powers involved in Syria's civil war are underway in Austria. The United States is sitting down with Russia and, for the first time, Iran to try to negotiate a way out of the crisis. A quarter of a million people have died and half the country's population have been forced to leave their homes. Our diplomatic correspondent Bridget Kendall is at the talks in Vienna. And Bridget, is there any cause for optimism? I think there's some cause for optimism, Simon. The very fact these talks are taking place and all these countries are represented around the table, including, crucially, the Iranians, is being seen in itself as a good sign. And what we're gathering this morning is that the talks have overrun almost by an hour now. Perhaps you can see, well, behind the tram, there are journalists waiting for participants to come out, but they're still talking. And that also looks like a good sign. And the one or two elements that are come filtering out that suggest perhaps they are making a bit of progress. But no one's expecting a breakthrough here. This has been seen as a first tentative step to see if there's enough common ground to try and launch a peace process. If they come out and say they're going to meet again next week, that in itself would be progress. But it would be something after four years of civil war, so many refugees, so many people dead, and so many peace arrangements that have failed so far. But the context is different this time. Russia has entered the war, therefore it has an incentive to try and keep its military involvement time limited. It doesn't want it to drag on. Iran is now seen more as a partner, especially after that nuclear deal that was signed in the summer. And everyone is worried about the so-called IS militants and the need to do something to stop that threat spreading. So with all that on the table, it's possible that this might get somewhere. Bridget Kendall in Vienna, thank you.